I'm going to show you one of my favorite features in Office 365, co-authoring. That's the ability to work on a document at the same time as someone else and see those changes happen in real time. I'm in my OneDrive right here and I'm going to click on my CRM analysis. So this is the document I've been working on. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to go over to the right and I'm going to edit in browser. So I'm going to use the Word app right in Office 365. And when I do that, I'm going to see a notification here that Ellen is also editing this document. And I also see that up here. And in fact, I can see Ellen right there, a flag, that green flag. And I can see the changes that she's making that are happening in real time. You can see those. So that's really fantastic. Now there's the ability to chat here, but what I like to do, and I'm going to show you this, let me just start Skype for business. You can incorporate, you know, your Skype, chat, Skype chats while you work. You can even have a call. And so people really like Skype. They're familiar with it. And so I can ping Ellen and I can say, hey, I see you are in the CRM doc. Can we take a look at the sales numbers? And so she can write me back and you know say okay that sounds great or let's take a look and so we can have a Skype conversation you know we could chat over here too I just wanted to show you how all the different applications are really incorporated hi that sounds great okay so you know I'm gonna go over to my I, we're gonna scroll down and we would look at our sales figures down here and maybe we realize that we now need to go into another document I'm gonna say Let's get into the 2016 sales file together. So we're going to actually co-author in Excel too. Excel has the ability to co-author. And if I make changes, by the way, if I'm, you know, if I delete this or in the, you know, CRM industry, she's going to be seeing the same thing. And I just got a little Skype pop up. She's going to be seeing those same flags that I'm seeing. Okay, I'll pull that up right now. So I'm going to go back to my OneDrive. I'm going to grab that sales file that I just spoke to her about. I'm going to edit it in the browser. You could always edit it in Excel or Word. Only Word, the full version, supports the real-time changes. And a lot of people just like to do it in the browser, so it's so quick. If you need to do a lot of work, though, if you need to throw a pivot table in there or you know add a table of contents, you're going to want to do it in the full version. And here I go. I can see Ellen is also editing, and there she is. She's taking a look at some things. And so maybe we can say, okay, I wanted to confirm May. Does that look? I'm not very good at typing in Skype, and I would leave that type in because she's used to them, but we'll do it right. Does that look right to you? Whoops. And so, you know, we can look at May together. Maybe I could even highlight it. So she can see what I'm talking about there. And I just used Alt-Tab, one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts, to quickly go back to Skype. Alt-Tab um, gets you back and forth between applications. Let's see what she says. May looks correct. I'm going to use one of my little emoji. I know that that will give the thumbs up. There it is. And so you can see the power of co-authoring. We're able to start in a Word document. We use Skype to converse about this document. We are working on it at the same time. She's in here still. So if I go back up to the top, there's her flag. So, you know, I can mouse over and I can see she's still in that Word document. And we were able to also co-author in Excel. She's seeing those changes. I'm going to take those highlights off because we confirm that those are good. But she would see my flag and see the changes in real time. It's a little different in Excel. You can see that it's actually um, this color. If there are multiple people here, you're going to see that they would have different colors. And it's even telling me which cell she's in. So you have the flags in Word and that you can mouse over and you can see the colored cells in Excel. And so if someone else were to come in, they might be blue. So really easy to collaborate with co-authoring. Just remember, the file has to be stored on OneDrive or SharePoint. It has to be shared. We looked at that in another video, but you want to make sure that when you open the file, when you click on share, and in fact, if I do that, this is a good little test. You can see I've already shared it with Ellen and Carlos. If it's not shared, you're not going to be able to co-author. So you want to share that file, and then you just start editing it at the same time, and you can see those changes happen in real time. Great feature for collaboration.